Find functional hilarity at the Biffa Emporium. Down a little bit. No, no, because otherwise then you don't get the full neck. I'm giving you a Missy Elliott tea. I'm giving you racer but realness. It's, it's giving you no neck right now. Oh, am I giving you to 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 Niche, to Nasha, whatever? Okay. Well, y'all, they know I got a neck. Like I got well, enough just, videos where I have my neck exposed, where they know, where they know, you know I have I mean? a neck. So I feel like I could have a necklace episode and give you a little bit of turtleneck. This white is too sharp. This white is too sharp. It is. Okay. We should start with TV. TV, yes. Um, it's been sorry. It's been sorry. It has. I just it's been so slow. I just finished the premiere episode of Growing Up Hip Hop, and I'm gonna need y'all to grow the fuck up with your issues because your show is giving me nothing. Do you even tune in? I don't watch it, and I want to watch it just because no, you you're don't. Reviewing. No, you don't. Okay, no, you good. Don't. Well, you're, you're lucky. I'm glad I don't have your to have that commitment. We can start with Fifty Cent. We can't even get a dollar to start with. We gotta start with 50 cent. They ain't even no 50 cent menu at McDonald's. <laughs> so, as you've heard, that, you know, Tierra Marie sued <gasps> Akbar. Oh, God! Yeah. I forgot about this. Yeah. <laughs> so, she sued Akbar for that whole, like, sex leak or something like that? On her Instagram. Right. And then where I guess... she had that um, cornstarch over her face. That wasn't even semen. <laughs> as much as Akbar fucking, he ain't got that much nut in him. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. The facts <laughs> are the facts. You know it. Facts I know it. And the viewers know it. Facts are facts. <laughs> Did you say that a lot? I, heard, I think I heard facts are facts. Facts are facts. No, I say that's a fact. So um, I'm not sure how 50 got himself entangled into this mess. Well, you know, he is a bottom who still knows how to insert himself. Am I wrong? Indeed. <laughs> um, so I guess what happened was um, Tierra Marie, she decided to include him in the lawsuit as well. I guess for defamation. He retweeted uh, or reposted the shit. Oh, okay. All right. So brought him to court. And we just found out today that she lost. And I think he countersued her, right? Mm -hmm. And he won. He initially won $160,000. But the judge granted him $30,000. So with that known, we can guarantee that Tierra Marie will be back on Love & Hip Hop next season. I want to know how you lose $30,000 you don't have chasing a dream you woke up from a long time ago. <laughs> I mean, ooh. And it's so embarrassing for her. Like, she And keeps... you know 50 will come after every piece of Claire's jewelry you got. He gonna snatch all your damn dresses. He's going to repossess and sell your, your wet seal heels on the street for $5 a pair. You know he is. He's just that petty. Now, he, I won't fuck with him. He will call Mona Sky Young and garnish those chicken gift cards. Yes, she, ooh, Lord. He's going to garnish her wages. Absolutely. Wow, he might even be on set. He might even, like, he might even buy, <laughs> like, production. Like, he might get in on the Oh, God, production. he would. And you he know would. Mona Scott Young would happily sell it to him. <laughs> right in front of Tierra Marie, too. Yep. Oh, my God. That'll be her plot line this I've, season. We're going to embarrass you ever so thoroughly so that we can get your debt paid off. I don't know. Why did you go to the school of Kenya Moore? You knew she didn't have shit to teach you. I, I, feel, I feel sorry for her because this is even worse than like a charade type loss. I don't. She tried something dirty and it didn't work. And I feel like this was all calculated even to begin with. Even to, like, bring the whole lawsuit on her reality show? That was all she had for a plot line. She had already been to rehab. I mean, once you've been to rehab, you're out. You're done. You're finished. You got to focus on your music, and there ain't no point in that. 30000 I'm just trying to think. Where, where is she going to get it? I mean, she maybe She can. ain't got a famous friend. She ain't making $30,000 a year on Love & Hip Hop. Well, Love & Hip Hop, I think she makes about 5 to 10K an episode. You think? I don't think that she can afford this debt. <laughs> I'll say that. I'll say that. I couldn't afford an extra 30K. Wow. I can see him. That's like, like she went to college. <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> That's some student loan shit. Girl, you skipped school and still got student loan debt. I am embarrassed for you. I know 50 gonna want it all at once. Uh-huh. He gonna want it all. Nope. I'm not gonna take no um, payment plan from you, Tiara Marie. I know you got it. <laughs> he gonna show <laughs> up. He gonna show up with those, <laughs> you know those trucks where like the credit card company sends to snatch your shit back that you. <laughs> he'll be driving oh it. Oh my god! And he'll film it, saying, "I'm taking all these." I mean, whoa, whoa, wait! What yeah. can he really repossess from her? She's in a rental. All her. She units. takes Uber. <laughs> All those units. And get 15 cents? I wish her the best of luck paying that debt back. Oh, I mean, that credit was already fucked. You may as well just leave it and move out of country, change name. Oh, man. Another win for 50 cent. <sighs> he ain't win nothing but a worthless debt, though. He ain't win nothing but a worthless judgment. While we're on TV, Ari and Marlo are back at it again. And um, I can say from this beef right now that Shamari may be, like, securing her peach for next season. Because it's bringing out some lovely shade from her that I didn't think she had in her. Well, let's hear it. Well, all right. I mean, you're already familiar with, like, you know. I oh, wait a minute. Marlo's not a housewife. Andy got his life from that. Like, you can even see, like, oh, and he was, like, doing all shady boots, shady boots. <laughs> So I was like, that got a rise out of Andy Cohen. When you get a rise out of Andy Cohen, you get another zero behind that check. Sure do. <laughs> All right. So she went on the breakfast club with her husband um, to talk about Marlo. And I guess Marlo, she um, took a screenshot of the picture. So Marlo starts with, hey, one hit wonder, Shamari DeVoe. I don't want your life owing almost 400k in back taxes and sharing the legend with other women. Yeah, that's what I strive for. Focus on your husband and career, not me. I am not your storyline. Shit, guess I am. I'll be ready for our next press run. Well, Marlo needs to be happy she's anybody's storyline because with those fucked up fashions she's been bringing, you don't even have your former claim to fame. And I want to know how many clients you're sharing. That's <laughs> what I want to know because, okay, she may be sharing her husband, but I'm sure you're sharing the men that pay or used to pay for your lifestyle. Because I can tell by your 2014 bullshit that boosters are getting you, those coins are running quite dry. And even on the fashion tip, like, she's been outclassed by that new chick, uh, Tanya. Uh-huh. Absolutely. And just like, well, you're the fashion girl, but there's this other woman who can actually, like, get, you know, this year's fashions and not... E she wearing 2019 shit. Right. She goes into Neiman Marcus with a purse full of cash. She spends it, and they don't have to worry about her using their very generous return policy. That's why <laughs> you're always talking about Neiman's, 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 because they'll let you return shit six years later. <laughs> do they still do that? They used to do that I when I shopped at Neiman's, but I kept my shit. I only bought three things from there, but I kept them all. So then Shamari claps back and says, Listen, baby lamb, no need to get angry have a tantrum and stomp around in your designer pumps. You started with the hashtag fun shade and I'm just sending it back to you. Let's call it a truce and I'll see you at the reunion when Andy brings out the supporting cat. Ah! Okay, sweet face. Ooh. Oh. Red you wrote like, you. Red you fucking wrote you. I did not read you, I wrote you. You've been chasing this peach for how many years? I got what you want, and I got what you need. <laughs> also, where is your business, Biffa? You sitting out here like shit, Ray. Wait, she she <laughs> she continues the clap. Oh, she continues the clap back. <laughs> Five million albums sold as a one-hit wonder. Who child the delusion of it all? <laughs> Sis acting like she sits on front rows with Anna Wintour and Kim K. Like, Shamari is bringing it. Like, she is bringing the shit. Shamari shade. does not give a fuck about a heifer who will never hold a peach. Mm. You are tarnished. Like, where is Eva? Soiled. Like, like Eva needs to bring who? this type of bullshit. I'm, 
Eve, I, I, Eve married that rich man after her rap career and her Eva, TV show. Eva. Eve uh, married that guy. He does the Gumball 5000. He got good money, and they got stepkids, and she happy. I think she was on the talk for a minute. I don't know if she's coming back Petty next season. Boots. Uh, That's what Eve is doing. So Marlo has the final clap back, which is Shamari DeVoe. Baby Kermit, about time you get a press tour considering you've been on high. Baby Kermit, how, how is John Amos going to call anybody anything? How long did it take for you to time warp from your episode of Good Times to get to this conversation? <laughs> you get a press, press tour considering you've been on hiatus for over 20 years. <laughs> I won't continue to help secure your rotten peach, especially when this supporting <laughs> cast member makes way more than you. See you at the reunion. Please wear something cute. <laughs> Marlo, I could say the same. You ain't worn nothing cute all season. And it's from past seasons. <laughs> Shit. You could have so, brought out your season four wardrobe and looked better than this. But, of course, you can't fit it. So, on this... I'm, but I can't fit what I wore during season four. So, we ain't, you ain't alone, girl. You ain't alone. <laughs> I'm on Shamari's side with this because Marlo likes to come for the new girl... All the time. Absolutely. All the time. And try to take the new girl's peach. Because she's jealous. Right, exactly. And, and untalented. They will not give you a peach because it's just something shady about her background. That it's Bravo because she does drove not a girl to, be to affiliated with. She drove a girl to suicide. She slashed a girl's face and then the girl killed herself shortly after. Are we leaving this in? Yes, because this is the truth. She was disfigured. She disfigured someone to the point where they committed suicide, and that is why Marlo will never get a peach. Hashtag facts are facts. Yeah. Well, um, moving on. Uh, I think Shamari has a really good chance of securing her peach. I think Cynthia and Eva, like the models, they need to leave, and maybe they'll have space for Kenya and um, Phaedra. And leading into that, you said Phaedra and Apollo are coming back? Their rumor? Anyway, I'm you know what? You know what? You up. know what? Let's talk about Apollo coming back. Okay. Because I was like, wait, how is Apollo coming back when he got like two good years in jail? Right. I wonder who's coming out first, um, Joe Judice or Apollo? Well, when Joe comes out, he's being put out. So <laughs> it don't really matter with him. Oh, man. I'm sure Italy is not happy. They're okay, so Apollo might be coming back to Real Housewives. According to Rhymes with Snitch, the ratings for Real Housewives of Atlanta have been in a death spiral since the season 11 premiere. Not death spiral. It, child, please. Losing a million viewers an episode. <laughs> And now that there are whispers that Andy Cohen is planning to bring back Phaedra Pox and her ex, Apollo Nida, insiders tell LA Late that Apollo is expected to be released soon and that the drama between Apollo, his fiance, Shireen, and Phaedra is exactly what Bravo needs to revive the series. Yes. Revive the series. Wow. Fun fact, in 2014, Apollo was sentenced to eight years. So, how the fuck he getting out in four? I'm guessing good behavior. With who? That's what you I want to know. You in your jail who. shades. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, you I'm know, surprised he wouldn't serve the full eight, being that he's returning to prison. That they're means overcrowded. you got it. That's a very good point. There's overcrowd. I mean, he must have been serving, getting two days credit for every day, eight years and four. Wow. I didn't know that's how time worked. <laughs> Shit, I'm going to be old before I know it. The fuck? Is eight years only four? Am I really, like, double in, my age? In New York. Because we're oh, in the space-time continuum where, where time travels, like... It depending on if you're on the MTA or not. <laughs> Just time completely stops when you're on the MTA. <laughs> the second you walk into that subway, it's like, I'm going to live forever. Then you get out and you age just like you got out of the cocoon. <laughs> Did you ever see Cocoon? What's that? Oh, Jesus, you didn't get the joke. <laughs> oh, my God. Right over. 
You've never seen Goku. What is that? I'll explain it to him later. I'll ex- we gonna watch it. We like, might have to review that movie. Is my black card gonna be recorded? No, not at all. Not at all. It's uh, it's an eighties movie. It ain't. It, it wasn't a black movie. Unfortunately, I did't think she was going to make the news in this pop roast, but she did again. Uh, Wendy Williams has now uh, extended her hiatus for another week. Hiatus! However, the show will go on with a Hot Topics panel, which makes no sense to me. It Me. does because they've got to get their their money. They're like, okay, girl, we we gonna look for your replacement because we still have a deal and we still gotta pay these people. They gotta pay the people that they've contracted for that year. Oh man, they gotta pay people all the way through twenty twenty, or it's gonna really get into Wendy's profits. This is some real like she needs to like um, address this. She's a (laughs) she needs to address this like on the episode premiere. Like, she needs to just come full, just let let it all out. Like, if your husband is beating on you, cheating on you, something, whatever is going on, if you're self-medicating, according to B. Scott, <laughs> like, something. I, I don't think there's anything... But then I don't think she can admit that she's self-medicating or else the insurance for her show is going to have some type of, like issue with that. Oh, ooh, Lord, my hands is dry. Hold on, we gotta reshoot that. I didn't like even notice. Point. Well, there is pause on YouTube, so yeah, people... Where, where did my motion go? It's right there. So this just continues to to not be a good look for Wendy Williams. I did not even think about that. Her insurance and her liability, she would owe everything if it was proven she was dibbling. I don't know, because addiction can be proven a disease. It it, it, it get real interesting with the insurance and the liability and the coin. I, I, I think they should do the panel or... Or somebody else just, just for the rest of 2020 and end it. No, no. I, I don't. You can't call it the Wendy Show and just have a hot panel. Nobody with said keep people. calling it the Wendy Show. You got the time slot. You got the money. You can call it whatever the fuck you want. I maybe, could go down there. It could be the Alexander Rogers Show. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she needs to go back to radio or like a, at least a podcast or something. Cause... And just rest for a year, two years. You've got money. You're fine. Don't but, fuck over your staff giving an inferior show and then have all the advertisers pull out because they will. This is going to fuck up her renewal contract. I don't think there ain't going to be no renewal. Yeah, this is this is troubling. Unless she can get it together like something There's big. no get it together. I mean, unless I she, she goes can... into that cocoon I was telling you about. Like, I'm sorry. Well. We have never seen somebody whose health failed them to the point where they could no longer do their job, or we rarely see it on TV. This is that But moment. it's all wrapped in mystery right now. It I ain't mean, mystery. She's clearly ill. No matter how she's ill, she's ill. And it's time to move on. It's time to say, okay, look, you cannot do this. We don't want to watch you wear at your health, so let's move on. It just must be a hell of a shoulder in- injury. Oh, it was, it's been more than that since last year. Uh, it was la- this started last Halloween. They shouldn't have brought her back after uh, the summer. She shouldn't have started this season. I blame the production. Deb Mar was like, no, we're going to get this coin. <laughs> they saw her on TV. They were like, this isn't a list. But they said, you know what? It's still bringing in the advertising dollars, those... so we don't care. <laughs> Speaking of that, those producers are going to haul her out there like weekend at Bernie's. They are. Like, they're going to haul her out with, and get oh. their money whether oh or not they... Oh, my God. They're going to put some shades on her and move her mouth like a, a ventriloquist dummy and get their money. She has a contract to fulfill. I'm just saying. I don't know if this aired, y'all, but if it did... 
But so, he's right. Like, that's how I feel they've been treating her recently. It's like, it is. Like, she is not well enough to do this show. Well. And we ain't gonna say it no more. That's it. Do we agree she ain't well enough to do this show? I think she can bounce back. I have faith in her. She's she's a fighter. And then if in a year she is really, or t- two years, or three years, but when she is no, really ready. She can't survive for two. She's an icon. Well, I'm she glad invented you admitted the industry. That. I'm glad you admitted that. I never said she wasn't. I said I don't respect her. <laughs> so speaking of shows without a host, um, the Oscars just decided to be like, fuck it. We're not going to have a host this year. And that'll be the first time this award ceremony has not had a host in 30 years. Well, does anybody watch the Do you watch? I, I, I don't watch. I watch the Oscars because I just want to see if the black people win. What Oscars are you watching where black people are winning? I haven't given a shit about an Oscar-nominated movie since Evita got snubbed. Wow. No, there's been, I mean, I got to think about it right now, but Yeah, you do some research and get back to me. I'll give a fuck next episode. So what happened with Kai? Because all I saw her was screaming like a maniac from someone's shower about... My neck, my back. <laughs> she mad because she poor. She don't own shit. She don't own shit. I mean, I'm poor too, but I'm not mad. But you never claimed to have all this money from publishing, from a hit uh, you put out in 2000 that is still relevant today. You you don't do that. Okay. So that's okay. All right. You stand in who you are. I stand in who I am. I never said, I don't need this. I don't need that. Uh-huh. I make my money off my residuals. I don't have residuals. <laughs> I mean, I got a little bit of a YouTube residual, but child, that ain't nothing. So she, like, got 10000 No, she, she couldn't have gotten 10000 She didn't before. get shit. Well, here's how it broke down financially. Mm-hmm. Get ready to do your math. This is a Lisa Lopez T. <laughs> that, that, this was a Lisa Lopez read. This was a Lisa Lopez read. He put out, okay, it costs $10,000 to sample the song. I paid this check to E1. They gave uh, 40% to somebody else, and they maintained 60% of the shit. And then she gets a percentage of that percentage. Apparently, if she gets that, because she got to contact E1. That's where she gets wow. her publishing from. So she's going to get something out of that $6,000, maybe two, three hundred. dollars I don't know, you because call tax somebody. returns... To make sure you get your money from a song that you allegedly written and produced. That's why we don't do music. Wow, that's so crazy. And then to get $10,000, that's it? That should be $100,000 to sample that song because it's still relevant. And it was already sampled by that song Icy by, I forgot who made the song. Y'all can tell me in the comments. But you remember that song, Icy. Well, that was sampled, too. And I'm like, this song came out in, like, what, 1999, 2000? Just the fact that she's getting paid 10000 I just think that song is, like, worth 100000 because it's still... Well, you don't, but the buying public doesn't. Otherwise, they would be charging 100000 for the song. It's only worth 10000 and that's it's, only what they're going to get. It's been 20 years, and that song still knocks in the club. It knocks overseas, as I saw. Like, someone was jamming it. It may it. knock, but that doesn't mean it has value. Like Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You know how many bills she could have paid with that? Not many. I mean, when you're getting a percentage of $6,000, how much can you possibly pay? Even if she was getting half, that's like, okay, a little bit of your mortgage and rent. But uh, you can't get shit for your grandchildren. You can't get any kind of nice dinner out. You got to worry about your insurance. I'm sure you need some repairs on that van, and you have to get it up to uh, 2019 standards. I'm sure the emissions need some work. Uh, Your cable is going to lapse. Your cell phone is going to lapse, although you give me Obama phone or cricket tees. So I, I don't know. And then how are you going to make monthly installments on your new ass? I just hope your ass don't die as fast as Nikki's did. Because remember, you a lot older. Like, Nikki was younger when she had her surgery. So she was able to keep that artificial ass alive. You as a mature woman, I just don't know if the artificial will work for you. 
I mean, it worked for Madonna. You saw her ass. That was phony. Oh, okay. Madonna ain't put no shit in her body. That I don't believe. <laughs> she just put on a butt pad for attention because she's a nut. I just think it's so crazy that Kai would get her ass done before her teeth. Because she still wants to shake her ass in her videos. Because she still thinks she's in competition with Trina. Because she still thinks people are buying her albums. I think she needs to be on Love & Hip Hop Miami. For what? She is neither loved nor hip hop. Okay. I mean, she comes out with music, but ain't nobody listening to it. That's the only thing she has in common with the cast is a lack of an audience. So she was embarrassed, I guess, like, you know, by that person. That video she did in someone's shower was <laughs> embarrassing. You got hot water running while you, like, <laughs> yelling about money that's owed to you. That you think is owed to you. <laughs> I mean, that Poor was, I, I just, I know the anger of poverty. And I, I saw my younger self in that. And I felt sad for her. I mean, girl, get on YouTube because your music ain't selling. And your old music ain't paying your shit. So you better get a video residual. I'm cackling right now along with T.S. Madison at this. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of people I feel sorry for, well... Should we feel sorry for the owner of Amazon being shook up for $50 billion or half of his net worth? See, here's my thing. If I'm married to somebody who is the head of Amazon... And the richest person in the world. I'm not divorcing you to possibly become the richest woman in the world. I'm married to your ass. I am the richest woman in the world. We will fuck separately and eat together. We too rich for me to even be angry with you. We fell out of love. We got enough money for that. <laughs> we got enough money to fall the fuck out of love. You have your side of the world. I got mine. We gonna go over here. You gonna go over there. I'm gonna be in New York. You gonna be in LA. You gonna be in Tahiti. I'm gonna be in Hawaii. The fuck? <laughs> I would be on a hundred million dollar yacht with champ champers, honey. Champers. Champers. I would have been on the yacht from the first 50 billion. You wouldn't have caught me on dry land. <laughs> Maybe a beach here or there. A little San Tropez, a little Monte Carlo, a little Monaco. But clearly money doesn't buy happiness because I think- Oh honey, they are very happy. Just because you are getting divorced does not mean you are unhappy. If I'm getting divorced and I'm walking away with $70 million, I'm pie in the sky. My 70, pussy is frigged. 70 billion. Billion. Mil See, I'm with 70 million. I am still high in the fucking sky. <laughs> I am still on a yacht. Yeah. I, 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 I stopped having fucks after 10 million. Quiet uh, as it's kept. That's all I... Sense? No more fucks. Okay. Keep a Can low bar. Honey, keep a low bar. I know. <laughs> Ooh, child. I, I hope we never get rich. No, I want to be rich. I just want to be comfortable. I don't need to be Beyonce. Mm -hmm. I don't need to be Amazon. I mean, that kind of money, you, you can't spend it all in one lifetime. Right. You can't spend it all in four. <laughs> like, what's she going to do? Divorce him and then end American poverty? I think the fuck not. So I'm happy for you, but great. You know, move on. On to the random portion of the show. Um, I just seen Bird Box, and finally, I know I'm late. But that movie was such a waste of time. It was such a waste of time. Like, I want my two hours back. I've heard so much, like, hoopla over it and the memes. Y'all already told me about it. Y'all niggas already told me about the whole story through memes. I knew who was going to die. I knew who was the cause of people dying. Like, the only thing I didn't know was the ending. And I just stuck with it because I was like, you know what? They can still save this story from being a mess. But <laughs> they didn't. They didn't. You and watch was... too much reality TV to say something like that. Say something like what? What did I say? That they can save this story from being a mess. <laughs> yeah, you thought they was going to have a reunion with the invisible creatures. The people that died and the people that made it. That's the only way they could have saved that shit was a good reunion. Two parts, not three. Penelope Thomas Bailey announces he won't return to Real Housewives of Atlanta, but hints at another reality show. 
I don't want to see him. We just saw his ass last week. What you talking about? You won't return. You up Nene's puss. Wow. I could. That's just so thirsty. He's just so thirsty. And, and that's I why he's a what, match for Nene. I wonder what Cynthia think about that, them filming with him. I think Cynthia was grateful to get a portion of the check. Yeah. And low-key, that gives Cynthia a little bit of a plot line. Ooh, they're friends with my ex-husband. I just don't want Cynthia back. Like, do y'all love Cynthia that much? Like, I know she's, like, the common ground, common, like, you know, everyone likes her, but it's time for her to go. She's wasting screen time. <laughs> she is the normal one that can not be a bone carrier, but find out everybody's feelings and be the peacemaker. Nobody else can facilitate that role, so she's necessary. You've got to have somebody that's like a little bit of a yawn. Everybody can't be on 10 or the show becomes too much. <sighs> I mean, really, like, if it wasn't for Cynthia, who the fuck would everybody shoot with when they're on the outs? Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that, that's a smart heifer. That is a smart heifer because she is needed. When there is the fight, there it's it's too con right. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I feel like the the candy and Nini is beef is gonna come back soon. Because, I'm here for that because we need they need to earn their Because it's kinda insidious for Nini to be this like close to Phaedra. Being like she's such a hypocrite because I remember like she was when like, she had her sisters on her half sisters and was trying to pull a uh, candy on on Nene. Right. I think Nene will do anything to stay on this show, and I think she it's knows meal ticket. as the most expensive. It's like I do not want to lose three million dollars a fucking year, and mm -hmm. if I get in bed with Phaedra, I can make possibly nine million dollars. Now, here's the thing that she doesn't know. She underestimates Phaedra because by the time Phaedra's done with you, you're going to have nothing. She is going to take every one of those $9 million pre-tax. She's going to leave you with the tax debt. <laughs> so good luck, Nene. Good luck. Maybe we can bring Lisa Wu Hartwell back. Wait, she's not a Hartwell anymore. <laughs> I, just re I just realized that. We can bring Lisa Wu back. <laughs> For what? I mean, she can How are we going to bring her back? Cynthia. Again, neither one of us are the supreme. We are powerful witches, but we don't possess the power of resurgence. <laughs> Otherwise, we would have brought back Beyonce's dance music career years ago. I know you would have. Oh. But there is talk of Peter having a spinoff reality show similar to Vanderpump Rules. In Charlotte. Do you want to see a black Vanderpump rules in Charlotte? I don't. I really <laughs> no. don't. Hustle and Soul is coming back. Do you watch that? Speaking of, you've forgotten the Jersey um, Housewives that you reviewed. You can see Cola waiting on. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't bring that up. I, you think I would recognize I like, a Cola? No, I, I recognize. I, I, I was like, wait a minute. I can barely recognize Cola on the show that she's on. I you know, sure ain't looking out really, for her on Jersey. Because she really doesn't work at that. She could be in front of my house. Restaurant. I wouldn't recognize her. She works at Sugar Factory and Meatpacking. And that's where it looked like it was. Right, that's where it was. And she did say Sugar Factory, so I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. But she said she was like a high-end bartender, but the surfer money's probably good, so. Well, she just wanted to be on camera. She just probably, like, got from behind the bar just to serve them. And you know she went quick to her Instagram stories and was like, oh, they saw me on TV, they saw me on TV. Just so thirsty, you know? And that's where her and her fake He game just boy broke it down for me. I really didn't even think like that. And she was like, oh, oh my God. Because I didn't recognize her. Yeah, that's what I, I was like. I couldn't pick her so out of a lineup. I was like, who is that? And then he said Cola. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. Like, yeah, I guess that's her. And I was like, oh, yeah, I guess she did say she was working at Sugar. I did not think her thirst got her on camera. But that does make sense. Yeah, because when you're in a restaurant, like, they choose specific servers to wait on celebrities. I just think it's really thirsty that like, she's just hopping from reality show rea to reality show, serving whoever she can. <laughs> well, no, but just like she doesn't really work at that hustle and soul place. Wait, what, what's the name of it? 
the pink, pink teacup. Tea yeah, like her and her fake gay boyfriend John John <laughs> work at Sugar Factory. Well, they are they now in Miami? I think they already finished filming. So are they back here? I think because they're starting to do press and promo for the season for Hustle three. And Soul. I'm looking forward to that. It's well, I hate it, but it's a good show. I thought that was funny. Like they were in that. Um, she was in Jersey. And she couldn't wait to post it on Instagram. She, oh my God, these are too many. Who's, whose party is this? Because this is too many. We are women. at Sheree's birthday party. Celebration of a has been. Got Jennifer Williams. So you went to this party? Ooh, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. <laughs> and you didn't tell me? I am not Jennifer Williams. <laughs> okay. Tony Braxton not wearing Birdman's engagement ring, fueling rumors that the engagement is officially off. It been off. <laughs> ah! Who is... Jasmine Brand, you late. <laughs> and also, I'm sorry, we all know she lost that wedding ring on her flight to pay off her tax debt. <laughs> Please. <laughs> that ring been gone. A lot. It's already melted down. Yeah, sold. <laughs> That stone was sold on the black market in Japan, is my guess. <laughs> oh, we didn't talk about Soldier Boy. Speaking of the dead. He looks like someone sucked his life force from his face. And he ain't have much life force to begin with. He was already looking like Trick's daddy's younger cousin. And now he's just a full-fledged member of the deceased family. Well... He was yelling on his um, Instagram earlier saying that he had the biggest comeback in 2018. Do you think? I, I mean, he was talked about in 2018, but I wouldn't say the biggest comeback. To me, the biggest comeback was... Right. I think cottage cheese got more popular. <laughs> Is that what you think when you see his face? No, no, because I like cottage cheese and pineapple or cottage cheese and um, peaches. So, okay. Yeah, I, that's that was a good thing for me. But I think he's still in his 20s. I think he's 29, and he still looks like that. He looks Well, like, I mean, look, when the body dies... That drugs are bad. Like, I just, the skin begins to sallow. The, the body putrefies. Do you think you Coke does that? And, I think just death. I think I know. these people are dead. When the blood no longer flows, your skin looks like shit. I know Why you. do you think we look so good? We're alive. We're healthy. The Wait, hallmark of any young supreme is perfect, glowing health. Now, just not to put you on front street, but you said you were dead a little earlier. Oh, ago. honey, I'm a different kind of dead. Okay. I actually died and made peace with my death. Okay. I'm not hanging on to life in a shell. This is me in it, yeah. This is my spiritual form in corporeal. Don't make me break it down for you. you don't I'm have corporeal to. right you don't now. Have to. I'm still a supreme and corporeal <laughs> and still dead. And I still look better than him. I know a lot corporeal. of Corporeal. <laughs> I know a lot of people on Coke. And I'm like, Coke don't make me look like that. <laughs> when you do too much for too long. Okay. Also, the people that we know that do Coke don't overindulge, and they keep themselves healthy. It's like, you know, they do a little Coke at the club, but they're right. still in the gym the next day, having a veggie smoothie, taking their vitamins on their prep. Quiet as is kept. Quiet as is kept. So these other people, they ain't on no medication. They ain't taking their vitamins. They ain't eating nobody's yep. vegetable. They'll do a little... Bump now and then, but exactly. But I don't know, like the the spoon, the spooners. There's a difference between a baby bump and a full spoon. Oh, was that a free base tea? Was that a free base tea? I don't know who. Yeah, some of them is free basing, and free basing is hard on the face. Soldier Boy looked like he been free basing. Free basin, honey. Free basin. I just take it back to the seventies. Get it like prior. Lord, they're like, why does Alex have a spoon and a lighter in his room? Because I was having peppermint tea, and I have candles there. There's candles around. And no, marijuana. Lord, they go, like, I'm free base. <laughs> this is why we don't do shit live. Right. Do you want a BAPS reboot? 
I'm just so tired of these reboots. So unoriginal. I don't need it. And you know you have people in the shade room comments because you know shade room posted some shit like that. Like, ooh, me, me, me. It'll either be, it'll be Milan Christopher saying he want to be in the Babs reboot. <laughs> they comment on everything on the shade room. Him and Jess hilarious. But yeah, Drea like piped up and said, "Oh, I can, I can be in it." Drea. Drea. The neglectful. Yes. She has time to take. I mean, she has time. She ain't watching nobody kids. <laughs> <laughs> that child raised itself. <laughs> we can keep that in, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, like leave Baps in the in the time vault where we left it. You know, I don't think we need it. I think in this new PC era, I don't think Baps would work. Right, that's like reviving white chicks. I never saw that. Really? You have to see it for the culture. No, I don't have to see that. I don't have to see Precious. I don't have to see Soul Plane. Well, I learned in Stand By Me, all I have to do is stay black and die. <laughs> that's all I have to do. Yeah, I'm not sure how BAPS would work. I mean... I saw BAPS like in snippets on Comedy Central. It over still the comes years. on like at night, like I think on VH1 or something like that. It just. It's it, because Holly Berry is in it. It's like she's yeah. come a long way. What happened to the other lady? I don't know. But yeah, Drea was saying, like, yeah, I could be in it. And then the girl from City Girls, like Young Miami, she was like, oh, I can be in it too. It's just okay, Shade Room. Is it supposed to snow this week? Um, let's look. I'm Alexander Rogers with your Weather on the Ones. <laughs> Over the weekend, we're going to have sunny skies today, Friday, January 11th, with an average temperature of 32 degrees and a low of 21. Tomorrow, Saturday, January 12th, it will be mostly cloudy with also a regular temperature of 32 degrees with a low of 25. Okay. And it ain't gonna snow Sunday either. My friend just texted me it's supposed to snow in D.C. And I'm like... That's far enough away. Yeah. D.C. will get shitty weather when we find, and we get shitty weather when D.C. fine. Mm. But D.C. be cold. Yeah. In the oddest news of the week, stranger caught licking someone's doorbell for three hours. For three hours. <laughs> now, I'm wondering... Was this a scam set up to promote Ring.com, that bell service? <laughs> or did this actually happen? Because we've heard about, like, OCD and shit. But, like, because three hours, that, that's OCD. That's OCD. Was this at night? Or at night. The day? He licked somebody's doorbell for three hours. It's been all over the internet. And I'm like... I've never seen it. I, I well, I nobody's going to watch a three-hour video. There's just a little clip of it. Ah, they say the man's been arrested. I'm going to need to follow this shit because I firmly and thoroughly believe I was banging so hard I hit the damn stop button on the tape. But I firmly believe that Ring.com set this shit up. This is Todd coming to us with the bullshit. He probably owned Ring.com. I mean, it's just like, why don't we see more shit like this where people with OCD are doing shit for hours on end. Why isn't more of this brought to attention? Because if this happened now, this ain't the first fucking time since we've had cameras that that shit has gone on. I'm sorry, y'all trying to get some free press and full promomo. I got nothing. What do you think? Do you think it's true? Do you think it's false? I mean, what, they hired a man to lick a doorbell for like three hours on end? Yes. I don't even know if they got three hours worth of footage. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it also, think so about it. You weird. can manipulate shit. Yeah. If somebody doing something for three hours the same way, you can manipulate that shit on a loop real good. It's very weird. I mean, the man got arrested, though, too. So I mean, Supposedly, allegedly. <laughs> it's just the word. I seen police report to first. I heard proper interview with said police station, Tough Hearse. That's a good point. 
I would really reevaluate the neighborhood. And the fact that Ring.com is like up on the top like that, it's just, it, it gives me a commercial tee. A commercial tee. I would really like try to think like who my neighbors are or like what. It's just so weird. I mean, in three hours, you didn't rub your tongue off. Your tongue would have been bleeding. Mm, I, I don't know. I, I something. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I ain't buying it. I ain't buying it. I need to see more receipts. I think this is a stunt and a show for press and promomo. So we will see you soon, and let's see if we can end it on a positive note. Mm -hmm. Um. I wish we could say Nikki stayed out of the press this week, but she's still trying to throw shade to uh, Meek Mill, and it's oh like y'all been over. She's been you with over. a whole new man. <laughs> you got yourself a whole new man. We'll see you soon. Well, we'll see you sooner than the water company will see Kaya's payment. Now, there you go. We'll see you sooner than Kaya will see a payment. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, as my mug say, tell a kin, tell a friend, tell that heifer you hate to head over to the Biffa Emporium for a cute collection of hoodies and mugs. Link below.